Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you've been here before, hopefully. We are not sewing today, we are cutting. And I've never done a cutting video before. I'm gonna talk about what we're cutting and then we'll get into a few other things. But this is a sew along bag. It's from K&A Custom Fabrics and I will link it below. But basically it is, um, you don't need a pattern for it. So this is a pebble vinyl for the exterior and then a waterproof canvas for the interior. So we're gonna, we're gonna work on cutting out this cute oogie boogie. Um, but so I have been on K&A Custom Fabrics website and um, it took me a really long time to realize that these sew along bags didn't require a pattern. And so I thought that was really cool uh, you basically just get all of the pieces that you need and there's a video that goes along with it You guys know I love me some videos. It's how I learned how to sew YouTube um, So I was like, wow, that's that's cool. And then I saw Oogie Boogie Who glows in the dark you guys glows in the dark and I was like, all right, well, we're gonna have to we have to add this to our spooky sewing series coming up. So I ordered it to make sure that I didn't miss it. It was available on retail, which I also really appreciate because I am Im impatient. So I just thought it was really cool. It's awesome materials and it cuts down on your cut time. A lot of times when you're cutting with a pattern, it takes a little bit extra because you're lining everything up. So this is a zipper panel piece. And it's just like perfectly lined up already. It's got all these sayings on it. You don't have to try to figure out where to put your pattern piece. I'm excited. There's also a lot of other available sew along bags as well as uh, there, there are, a retailer for um, other bag patterns. So for instance, if you have the little heartbreaker bag pattern, they have some cut and sew little heartbreakers. Um, so there are some that have patterns and they work with desi pattern designers. But then, like I said, there's these. So this is our other zipper panel piece. And um, not a great cutter. <laughs> if you've watched me sew, you know that a lot of times my stuff doesn't line up and that's because I'm pretty much the worst at following a straight line. I can sew in a straight line, but I cannot cut in a straight line, nor can I draw in a straight line, even when I'm <laughs> using a pattern. It's magical. I don't know. Anybody else have this can't cut in a straight line issue? I hope. <laughs> at least I know what I'm bad at. I think that's important. So the rest of... Our back to school basics videos are going to be posting soon and then we're doing it. We're moving into spooky season here. Okay, so this is our gusset. We have a very big Halloween party here every year. And spooky season is one of our absolute favorite seasons. We are here for it. And actually the Nightmare Before Christmas, which is what Oogie Boogie is from, if you're not familiar, was one of my son's favorite movies for a really long time. And I think if you asked him, it's still one of his favorite Christmas movies, he's going to say. I 
And there is a big debate, you know. Christmas, Halloween, both. Where both are here. We'll watch Nightmare Before Christmas pretty much any time. And that's one of our main exterior panels. See how fast and easy this is? I just think it's such a cool concept. It's a time saver. And I was just too excited to get this cut. I couldn't let it sit just there staring at me waiting for our spooky sewing series to start. And that's, you guys, that's what it was doing because it glows in the dark. So every time I walked by my studio, I was like, what is that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's so a long bag that's begging me to cut it out. All right. That's our exterior. Mine is our sew along or our glow in the dark panel, which I'm going to do right now. I've also never made a bag that glows in the dark at all before. So, um, yes, here for it. Cannot wait to see how it turns out. My studio light is so bright that I can kind of see it glowing in the dark now, even though it's not dark. Circles are not the easiest to cut, but so basically this will make a circle bag, which are always in, made several circle bags, none this big before. Okay, there we go. There's our glowy oogie boogie. All right. So now we're moving on to our interior pieces. And this is this really fun spider web. I'm actually super excited to see it all come together. I haven't watched this all on video yet, so I have not seen one of these bags all put together. excited for it. And it all seems like a really great quality. We're also a big fan of uh, Wednesday Adams around here, and these spider webs remind me of some of the Wednesday prints that I have. I keep waiting for season two to come out on Netflix. Nothing yet. So there are books that you can make. Um, which I think are really interesting. I have been eyeing them. <laughs> like, really? There are some other, um, really cool, like, messenger style, book-themed bags. Basically, I think you should check it out if you haven't. If you didn't know this existed, go for it.
So we cut out one main panel and our gusset piece so far for the interior. don't usually get to do cutting videos because I don't want to show pattern pieces on the channel and um, because it has no pattern pieces and no pattern this is perfect for everybody and there's our second interior for everyone who sews do you usually listen to music when you're in your studio do you watch videos I typically do both. My daughter put her Alexa in here and um, all of a sudden we'll just like instruct it to turn on from some other space in the house, which is horrifying. <laughs> but I feel like music always puts me in a mood, a good one. I do watch videos in here also. I don't like the quiet. Is there anybody who sews super in silence? <laughs> That's okay if you do. Sometimes when I'm working on a, a new pattern for a designer, like a first time sew, I'm so focused that I actually prefer the quiet. But when I'm hanging out in here, trying to get some fun things done, I'll spice it up. All right, so we just cut out our tabs on the interior. And now we're doing our last two pieces already, you guys. So see how fast this comes together? These are our zipper panel interiors. One, A lot of people cut with rotary cutters. I sometimes do, but I'm also not great with that. I guess I'm not great with a lot of things. I'm better um, being able to like hold the material and cut it. I just don't trust myself yet. All right, our last zipper panel piece. And that's it, you guys. We've cut out the whole bag. Again, no pattern, but we have all of our interior pieces. We have all of our exterior pieces. And we're just ready to go now. We're ready to start our spooky sewing series with Nightmare Before Christmas Oogie Boogie. So definitely stay tuned for that. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, do that. You don't want to miss what's coming up. Our fall lineup is... Whew, our favorite yet. I don't know what else to say. Thanks so much for joining us today. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you soon.